lost a battle. Good morning to the Good Shepherd family and all others who are watching. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to tune in. We all know what is going on around the world in this time and it is important not to let our fire go out, but instead keep your fire burning. Someone is depending on you in this season. Just join with me as I pray. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We recognise that you are an awesome God, a mighty God. A God that is worthy of our praise, of our worship, of our time. And right now we are gathering, to, not together, but we are gathering at, in this online service to, to worship you and be blessed and, and receive from you, God. We just pray right now against the anxiety and the fear that coronavirus is bringing or trying to bring. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We cancel it out. And Lord God, we just live in hope, we live in love, we live in peace that you give, Lord. Hallelujah. In, in, in the midst of any storm, Lord God, it is you that brings us peace, Lord God. And Lord, we just pray on the word that is coming and the worship that is coming. We pray that the saints will be blessed, encouraged. Hallelujah, Lord God, it will bring strength, it will bring hope. We just pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Good Shepherd Church would like to send a happy birthday to Kayla and Sister Gloria. Have a wonderful birthday and may God continue to bless you and keep you. And please remember, the Good Shepherd tithes and offering can still be collected via online banking. The information is on the screen. We are now going into a time of praise and worship. Psalm 63 verses three to four says, because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live and in your name, I will lift up my hands. I invite you all right now, as we're gonna throw on a, a throwback worship video to just sing on to God, just worship him right where you are in your front room, in your bedroom, just, just glorify him. Amen. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness. You give hope, you restore, you restore every heart. Every
means he's above all in your life. That means he's above everything in your life. Shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These Hallelujah. Will sing it's time to tap in. Grace. It's time to tap in. Are you it's time to start drinking from that living water. All the earth. All the earth will shout your praise. Our, Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Oh,
today. We give him thanks today. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Join with me and let us worship our God. Hallelujah. He has been with us throughout the week, throughout the past three weeks of lockdown. And here we are going into the fourth week of lockdown. Hallelujah. And God has kept us. He has protected us. Hallelujah. So we just want to bless his name and praise his name today. So I just want you to come with me now. We're just going to um, go into a short word. Can you just turn with me, please, to the book of Kings, chapter 18? And we will be reading just a few verses, um, starting from the, the 30th verse. Amen. And my topic today is repairing the altar of God. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Repairing the altar of the Lord. So we're just going to read now. Amen. So I hope you have your Bibles. Amen. Wherever you are, your Bibles or your phones, whatever you use these days, um, just get that for me, please, as we are going to read. Amen. Just give you a moment. Let you find that you get your Bible. So it's First Kings chapter 18. Amen. And we're reading from the 30th verse. Amen. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And, it, and Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. Amen. And I'll just stop there. Amen. So today, as I said, I'm going to be talking to you briefly on the topic of repairing the altar of the Lord. And I will be focusing on the mainly on the 30th verse. That's where my topic is based. So earlier in the same chapter, we see that Elijah confronted the prophets of Baal and he challenged the prophets of Baal, all 450 prophets, false prophets of Baal, um, to a contest on Mount Carmel. Now Elijah had said to them that he would prove who was the true and living God. Amen. Amen. So the prophet of Baal had to offer their sacrifice um, to their God, and then they had to pray to Baal to send fire from heaven to consume their sacrifice. After that, then it would, it would be Elijah's turn. And so the test would be whoever answered by fire, that God would be the true and living God. So, as the story goes, Baal prophets, they prayed and they called upon their God, as the Bible says. Uh, you'll have to read the full story for yourself, um, as I won't be going um, into, in, into details. But the, uh, the, the prophets of Baal prayed and they called upon their God, but I'm afraid no fire came from heaven. And so the story um, takes us up now to verse 30. And, um, and as we see, Elijah, it's now Elijah's turn to offer his sacrifice. Amen. And I'm just going to read again. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Amen. Amen. It's vital that we understand 
before Elijah could open his mouth to pray over the sacrifice, he realized the important thing, one important thing, he had to repair the altar that was torn down. Amen. So I just want us to just pause there for a moment and let us just think, what does the altar of God represent in our lives? I believe the altar represents a person's desire to consecrate themselves fully to God. I would say a place of consecration. And as Romans 12 says, the Bible says, present, we must present ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy, unacceptable to God, which is our reasonable service. And so many times, you know, there's a song that we sing, we bring sacrifice of praise unto the Lord, unto the house of the Lord, and we offer unto him the sacrifice of thanksgiving. But stop there for a moment. Stop there for a moment. We cannot offer sacrifice, hallelujah, until we have repaired the altar, hallelujah. So we sing that song, but let us stop for a moment. We cannot offer any sacrifice unto God until we have repaired the altar, amen. So I ask you today, how is your altar? What is the state of your altar? Is your altar functioning or is it in disrepair? Before Elijah could call down fire from heaven, he had to repair the altar of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, preparing the altar must, I believe, must start with us. And I believe that it should start in the home. We should not wait until we come to church. We shouldn't even wait until we go into our weekly prayer meetings. We understand that the altar must be repaired behind closed doors. We must begin behind closed doors, that secret place, amen. The Psalmist David said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, amen. So we must find that secret place and that is usually in our home, in our closet, Amen. And when we are in that secret place, hallelujah, we know that we can be open with God. Amen. We, that's where we can be transparent. Hallelujah. We don't have to worry about who is hearing us. We don't have to worry about who is listening. We can lay our hearts bare before God. We can empty ourselves before God. Hallelujah. Those secret sins, hallelujah, that no one knows about. We can just tell God about them. We can come clean. Hallelujah. Amen. We must let our light shine in the home. It's got to start in the home first. Hallelujah. If we want God to answer by fire, hallelujah, we must first repair the altar in our lives. Hallelujah. So Elijah prayed. Amen. Elijah prayed. And we are going to look at verse 36. We're going to take it up again from verse 36. So come with me again with your Bibles. And we're going to read from verse 36. Hallelujah. Amen. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and of Jacob, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things at thy word. 
Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench hallelujah hallelujah amen amen so today i just want to pause again and let us just think about what does the fire represent what does the fire represent the fire i believe represents god's presence the fire of god represents God's power. Amen. And we can see in Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 24, and the, the word of God says, God is a consuming fire. Amen. Um, we need the fire of God in our, our altars today. We need the fire of God on our altars. Hallelujah. We, when we carry the fire of God, we are unstoppable hallelujah we have to understand how important it is to have the fire of god in our lives hallelujah amen so when we carry the fire of god we are unstoppable brethren hallelujah we can change atmospheres wherever we go in an environment we can change that environment whether it be at work hallelujah whether it be at school for those of us who are in educational system when you are in the colleges when when you are in the schools wherever you are in your workplace on the, even on the buses even on the trains hallelujah when we carry the fire of god in our hearts we can change the environment hallelujah hallelujah and another thing no devil from hell can stop us when we have the fire of god in our lives hallelujah no one can discourage us hallelujah no one can slow us down hallelujah so today brethren i just want to encourage us to remember that we must have the fire of god in our hearts hallelujah but we first have to rebuild the altar in our lives hallelujah so i want to encourage you again hallelujah to make sure that the altar is rebuilt like elijah did he rebuilt the altar and then he was able to call down fire from heaven hallelujah we will not be able to call down fire from heaven we will not be able to move god hallelujah until we rebuild the altar in our lives and then we will be able to call down the fire of god hallelujah so i just want to encourage you today hallelujah amen and i just want to leave just one last scripture with us today amen and it's taken from leviticus chapter 6 and verse 13 so just turn with me again quickly leviticus chapter 6 and verse 13 and it says the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar it shall never go out and I'm just going to read that again in closing. The fire shall ever be burning up on the altar. It shall never go out. So for those of you who are listening today, to those of you who have tuned in, amen. I just want to encourage you. Remember, do not let the fire of God go out in your life keep that fire burning keep that fire burning the word of god says never ever to let the fire of god go out in our hearts it is vital that the fire of god keeps burning on the altar god bless you today amen i hope that these short words of mine amen has blessed your heart god bless you amen amen and I will love you, Lord, my King. And I will love you, Lord, 
my rock forever all my days i will love you lord we sing hallelujah our god raise hallelujah our god reigns yes hallelujah our God reigns forever all my days. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. And hallelujah. Our God reigns forever all my days. Hallelujah. Forever all my days. Hallelujah. Yes, forever all my days. I will sing hallelujah. Cause you're worthy, Lord. We exalt you, Lord, forever all my days. It's hallelujah. Yes, you're worthy, Lord, worthy of my praise, Lord, forever all my days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We sing praises to your name, yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will sing songs to the glory of the Lamb. Yes, I will sing songs to the glory of the Lamb. I will sing songs to the glory of the Lamb. We sing hallelujah. We sing glory to the Lamb. I sing hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, hallelujah, 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 thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, we're just going to pray again as we close out this service, and then just join in. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we give you glory. We sing hallelujah, glory to the Lamb. Hallelujah, Lord Christ, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. Lord, we are grateful, Lord God, forever grateful, Lord. Hallelujah, we're just grateful. We thank you, we praise you, Lord. Lord God, we extol your name, Lord God. We lift you up, we, we bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah, for you're a worthy God, a God that is high and lifted up a god that is worthy hallelujah a god that has never lost a battle hallelujah you are the true and the living god the only wise god hallelujah to him be all glory dominion and power both now and forevermore we worship you god your name is worthy of our praise your name is worthy of our time your name hallelujah it has power lord god to keep us to carry us to protect us hallelujah in your name lord there is safety lord your word says hallelujah lord god the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous hallelujah lord god they run in and they are safe hallelujah they are saved they are safe hallelujah there is safety there is we have a savior in you god hallelujah we bless your name glory to god glory to god hallelujah hallelujah you are worthy and we just bless you right now. We just thank you right now for your word that's gone forth. We just pray it hasn't fallen on stony ground, but Lord, we pray it's fallen on good soil. We pray, Lord, that these words that have been spoken from your word, hallelujah, that will go forth, Lord, and hallelujah, will bless the hearts of people, of the saints, Lord. It will encourage us to, to build our altar. It will encourage us to keep that fire burning within, Lord. Hallelujah. It will encourage us to just 
not not grow cold, not grow weary, not grow tired, but to keep on pressing, to keep on chasing after you, to keep pursuing you, God, to get closer to you, to use our time wisely, Lord God, that we can just draw nearer and nearer, closer and closer to you, God, to your precious side, Lord, hallelujah, to your dwelling place, hallelujah, glory to God. Lord, we just thank you right now for your word. We just bless you, we lift you up, we thank you for all the saints that are tuned in today, wherever they are, we pray that you will bless them, you continue to keep them, keep them healthy, keep them safe, Lord. We pray for your provision, Lord God, your protection, Lord God. Hallelujah. We just thank you, Lord God, for what you have done for us thus far, Lord God. You have kept us thus far. Hallelujah. We bless you, we praise you, we lift you up, God. Lord, we recognize, hallelujah, Lord God, that these times that we're in aren't easy. But we know, Lord God, that we serve a mighty God. We serve a God that is able, Lord. Able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or even think, Lord. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just bring it all to you. Hallelujah. We leave it in your hands and we recognize that. We know that you will take care of us, Lord God. Hallelujah. We give it all over to you, Lord. We don't, we don't worry. Hallelujah. We don't fret. We leave it in your hands, Lord God. Fear has no place, Lord, in the in in, in believer's life, Lord. Fear has no place here. Hallelujah, Lord God. You do not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, peace, and a sound mind. So, Lord God, we just rest upon, hallelujah, your promises and who you are, Lord God. And hallelujah, who you've called us to be. Lord God, I just thank you right now. I bless you. I just pray for a blessed week for the saints. Hallelujah. Keep us in perfect peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed week, saints.